What's up everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this video part. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys because for this video we're going to take a look at one of the best cartoons of all time and that is Avatar The Last Airbender. Well with The Last Airbender finally on Netflix right now, anybody who is anybody is either talking about this show or is currently binging all three seasons. Funny thing is that back in 2019 my brother actually bought the DVD box set and for the rest of 2019 we actually binged through all three seasons. Well now that the series is on Netflix right now there's really no need for this. Watch at some point Netflix is going to take it down. I'm going to try to be as vague as possible for when it comes to spoilers and if you haven't seen the show I envy you. Anyways, The Last Airbender debuted on Nickelodeon back in 2005 and within the opening intro for each episode, the show basically tells you about the world where the story is taking place, where you have four nations where people can control the elements such as water, earth, fire, and air. And at first, the four nations live together peacefully, that is until the Fire Nation began to invade other nations. However, all the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him the most, he vanished. Fast forward 100 years later and two War Tribe kids discover the new Avatar who is an airbender named Aang and is actually the last airbender who soon embarks on a quest to master all four elements in order to save the world. And right from the get-go, one of the things that I really like about the show is that to me, I see this as a mirror image of the original Star Wars trilogy to where you have this inexperienced boy going on an adventure in order to help defeat an empire and restore balance to the world. I also love that how with each season that goes by, we see these characters mature as they go through several challenges in life. And while I love watching Aang master all the elements, to me, my my favorite character who has the best story arc throughout the entire series is Prince Zuko. Honestly, to me, this character goes on an incredible journey of self-discovery as we see him have a reverse Anakin role in this series, to which at first he starts off as a whiny teenager who then becomes an outcast and soon discovers his true destiny. And while you normally see this type of character in several films that are often spread out into a trilogy, the transformation is sort of rushed because there's only so much you can fit in three movies that are at least two hours long. But when you have a TV show and with each season having about 20 episodes that gives you a total of 60 episodes for this series and that gives you plenty of time to have characters like Zuko have their story arcs fully fleshed out. Speaking of character development, one of the other things that I really love about this show is that it provides the perfect mentors to help both Aang and Zuko on their journey. For Aang, he has the spirit of Avatar Roku guiding him on his journey as he's learning to master all the elements. And now that I think about it, he kind of reminds me of Ben Kenobi who often helps Luke on his journey to become a Jedi. And for Zuko, he has Uncle Iroh who's basically the Yoda of this entire series who often gives wisdom advice to both Zuko and other characters as well but is also pretty dang powerful. He's so powerful that some characters refer to him as the Dragon of the West. No joke, the best moment in the entire series is actually when you see Uncle Iroh beg Zuko to look inside and ask himself the big questions. Who are you? And what do you want? Every time I see that moment, I get chills going down my spine. And when you look at it even more, you can see how this moment from a cartoon can easily reflect on life to where you see people struggling with their personal identities and soon need to answer those two questions in order for them to find out what kind of person do they want to be. Honestly, I can go on forever and talk about how great this show is, but for the sake of time, I will say this. While the series first starts off a bit kid-friendly and often does have its goofy episodes, it does, however, ramp things up as we get into Season 2, and once we're in Season 2, the stakes get raised, and as we get into Season 3, they pull out all the stops. So if you have the time to binge all three seasons on Netflix, I highly recommend you do so. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. That was my overall review for Avatar The Last Airbender. If you like what you saw, click on the subscribe button to see all these updates from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.